Hello, this is Noseman from the Max on Training Team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to upres a pyro simulation and why you would want to do that. Why would you want to upres a simulation and not just set your voxel size and simulate at that voxel size? Well, here's why. This simulation is playing live, and let's assume that I've come to a point where I really like how it looks, and uh, the resolution is okay, but I want it to be higher. Now, if I go to my voxel size, and let's say I increase my resolution eightfold, which means make my voxel size half the size, if I rewind and press play, you will see that my simulation is starting to look fairly different. I have all these hanging clouds on the side, uh, which I didn't have earlier. And uh, the reason you would upres is that just by changing the voxel size and re-simulating, your simulation is not going to look identical. Whereas if you use your original voxel size and then just up-res it, it will look fairly identical. So what I have here is a cached version of the up resolution. So if I press play now, you will see that in the up version, let me just go to a frame, look at this. Here we have the original and the up version. And you can see that in general terms, they look much closer. And this allows you to art direct using a certain voxel size, up and having something that looks extremely, extremely close to your original without having to touch any of the parameters. So now the question is, how do we do that? We're back to our original simulation. And the first thing you need to do is go to the pyro output and uh, make sure that in the object tab, you have active all the grids you want to export. They can either be on or on export, but you need to have the velocity on no matter what other grids you want to up -res. The velocity is the one that is absolutely necessary. Then you go to the cache tab, press cache scene. It will ask you if uh, you want it to go in the default volume folder. And if you say no, you can go and pick your own folder select your folder and the simulation will start. When the caching has finished, you can see that now the caching is enabled here and we can play real time. Now we can up res our simulation. What you need to do is define the up res factor, select your cache and up res active cache or up res the whole scene. Now it will take the same amount of time it would take if you were actually simulating at the same voxel size. So you need to be a bit patient. So upres active cache. It will ask you the same number of questions. So I'm going to fast forward when the cache has finished. And here is our upscaled simulation that has a 2x over here. And it looks identical or very close to the original simulation. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.